Hello, let us see how to solve this particular problem. Uh, so basically what is given here is uh, uh, a totem pole output gate and uh, uh, what is said is uh, uh, whatever the resistor that is connected uh, to the um, lead of this uh, pull up resistor is removed. So what, what scenario could it lead to? So basically before going to that we just need to understand what is a totem pole configuration. A totem pole configuration is nothing but a um, push pull configuration where you will have a pull up resistor and a pull down resistor with a, with a uh, resistor at the collector of the pull up resistor. This is called the pull up resistor. This is called the pull down resistor and then you will have output from here. So basically uh, when you want um, a pull down um, that means a zero on the output. So you will enable this transistor such that the um, current will sink into this configuration and it will be low basically. So that means the ground will reflect here because this is on. Now if you want a, a pull high that means one here. So this transistor will be on and this transistor will be off. When this transistor is on this is off and this is off this is on such that a high will lead here. So that means uh, through this resistor um, the current will supply uh, shall be supplied to the external load whatever is connected on the output. So this is how a totem pole uh, configuration looks like. Uh, so similarly uh, just to mention um, there will be a open collector configuration uh, which is similar to this uh, but you don't have a pull up resistor. You will only have pull down resistor and uh, then this will be output. So definitely you need to have a pull up here um, <clears throat> for a open collector configuration. These kind of configurations are seen for uh, uh, the I2C bus. Uh, whereas uh, this kind of configuration you see here uh, are seen for general uh, GPIO lines or any other uh, uh, communication buses where you want uh, a pull up or a pull down uh, to be enabled internally uh, in a microcontroller. So now <clears throat> What are the scenarios given here is uh, basically how does this resistor help? That's what we need to understand. Uh, so this resistor um, before going to that resistor configuration, the main difference between uh, um, this configuration, the open collector and the totem pole configuration is that uh, totem pole configuration is the fastest compared to uh, the open collector configuration. And now um, what happens is uh, there is a transistor one two here in a totem pole configuration. Uh, so the output switching speed depends on uh, the switching uh, of these two transistors because if if we need one uh, then this need to be on this need to be off that means uh, both need to go to uh, saturation state and then um, if we need zero this need to be on and this need to be off. So that means you need to drive the uh, transistor from on to off state that means saturation to cut off state uh, or cut off to saturation state for this uh, uh, transistors uh, to function. Now in these uh, uh, scenarios uh, one has to understand that the speed of this output at which uh, uh, it can be switched it depends on the switching time of this. So it is very much limited. Now when we switch between these two um, that means on and off and off and on to get a, a, a different output. Uh, so this VCC will supply at one time and then VCC doesn't supply at one time and this is uh, sinking. That means the lower uh, transistor is uh, on. So when uh, you suddenly switch on uh, what happens is at the frequency of this switching uh, if this resistor is not present whatever whatever the small glitch that you see because of this uh, <coughs> transistor uh, uh, characteristics uh, um, that could reflect onto the supply directly whereas if you have a resistor uh, that means you are indirectly providing some isolation from here and uh, uh, some noise uh, may not get reflected on the supply. So one major thing what we can say is uh, if this resistor is, is not present the the noise whatever the um, small glitches that you see because of this switching could reflect onto the supply. So there could be one chance of this uh, um, happening during the uh, resistor removal. So this is this uh, the probability of this happening 
is very high uh, and then when you remove the resistor uh, the lower power dissipation so there could be <coughs> little uh, chance of uh, improvement in power dissipation but uh, uh, the amount of noise generated um, dominates uh, uh, the advantage that we get here so this is more uh, uh, this has more chance of happening uh, than uh, this and then um, incorrect operation of the gate so if you remove this resistor um, the normal push pull configuration operation that happens you uh, actually happens and there is no issue so that means uh, there is very less chance of this happening and uh, reduce switching time from v1 to v0 um, this also can, uh, cannot happen because the switching time actually depends on uh, the <coughs> turn on turn off times of these uh, um, bjt's so now this also has very less chance so the power dissipation also can be striked off and uh, um, there is very high chance that uh, um, the, the noise generated because of these uh, different characteristics of these transistors uh, um, switched at uh, highest frequencies can couple onto the power supply. So D is the correct option here. Thank you.